The presence of a morphological feature does not necessarily imply that the trait represents an optimized design. A quote I love from this paper, looking beyond fibrillar features to scale gecko-like adhesion. Now, as a professional Spider-Man wannabe, I spend a lot of time thinking about being able to scale walls. Geckos and their distant spidery relatives use microscopic setae to maximize contact area with the surface, multiplying weak van der Waals interactions into large attractive forces. Many have tried replicating setae, but according to the authors of this paper, they become less efficient at human scales. They developed a material that mimics the strength and conformability of gecko biology. And look, I made it myself. Check it out, it can hold 50 newtons. In the paper, you'll find a small pad holding 135 kilograms. They developed a theory to predict the strength of the adhesive at different sizes. And what's awesome is that the theory predicts the adhesion of natural geckos. The presence of a morphological feature does not necessarily imply that the trait represents an optimized design. Or in other words, ask yourself why our airplanes don't have feathers. More on this in a future video.